I'm Chris Sanchez and welcome to Sonoma Views, where we talk real estate, property management, and local restaurant reviews. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the current situation with um, evictions, uh, tenants directly impacted by coronavirus, COVID-19. Very tough times that we're in right now. Um, so I, I just wanted to shed light on what's taking place, uh, the why it's such a tricky uh, tricky situation right now for property owners, the, the landlords, the investors. And then it's a tough time for tenants as well because um, housing, everybody needs housing and it's just, it's, it's a financial mess right now. So um, <clears throat> a couple things that have, that have happened recently. One, there is an executive order in place and this was from the uh, governor of California, the executive order through May 31st. Um, they, they put a, it's a temporary halt, uh, hold on evictions. OK, uh, but that's evictions. It's not a hold on rent. So I'm going to make a point very clear is that the executive order states uh, that the tenants are not relieved of their obligation to pay the rent or pay what's due. All right. So whether hopefully a tenants are able to pay in full, but if not, uh, it doesn't mean free rent. So the amount's still going to be due pay now or pay later. So I want to uh, give some recommendations uh, that tenants could could take to heart hopefully and uh, set themselves up so that they could have you know the best chances really of maintaining a good relationship landlord tenant relationship and not lose uh, housing eventually down the road so there's the executive order states that uh, the tenants are not relieved of their obligation to pay rent it also states that the the landlord is not prohibited from you know trying to collect what's due to him or her so the rent is still due no free rent i want to make that point clear there there is not going to be free rent it's still going to be due and if a if a tenant does not pay unfortunately it's going to accrue and it's going to be owed at some point and the danger is you know, the fear if a tenant doesn't pay the april rent which is just around the corner on may 1st now they owe two months rent they owe all of April plus they owe May. You get to June and now they're potentially three months. So uh, realistically, if a tenant cannot pay uh, one month rent, there it's very unlikely that come June, they're going to be able to pay three months all at one time. All right. So there's, there's that one part. Um, when I emphasize that no free rent and, but the evictions are currently on hold for somebody who was, for those tenants who were directly impacted from a job loss or significant loss of income or um, extreme medical expenses that were directly coming from the the virus coronavirus an example would be somebody who was laid off or somebody who got really sick and then their medical bills went up right so that's that one part um then the county supervisors uh passed another emergency um Emergency protection. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here as far as I was just looking at it this morning. I was on the website and looking through the notes and reading through that um, that proposal, the ordinance that went through. So again, it's that's locally, that's going to be it's still in effect for 60 days. And it's a protection. It's an eviction protection so that the tenants cannot um, be evicted because of that. Now, the key here is that the way that it's written, it says that it's directly impacted and then they have to provide source. They have to pr prove that they actually were impacted. So I had one uh, uh, a group of roommates out in Runner Park and they're renting a place and they, you know, they've stated that they're not working because of this, um, you know, the, the crisis right now. And uh, on one of them, we actually called to verify employment and you no, know, one of them walked off the job. She just hasn't shown up. Um, the other one is not laid off. It's just temporarily off. Uh, until they get back up so anyway it comes down to proving not just jumping on the boat and trying to get free uh free rent um sorry <laughs> it's a very delicate matter i'm very sympathetic to the people who are you know suffering the the financial the financial pains right now uh so you have those two things you have the executive order you have the local ordinance and then the other part of it it's uh for landlords as well it's now that we're in 2020 there's also the just cause evictions that are in place and the rent cap, uh, which most a lot of people are going to be, you know, subject to. Some of them are going to be exempt from the the rent cap and just cause laws. But it is this year has definitely become harder 
for the landlords. It's become tricky. Um, so I, I wanted to make that clarity. My best recommendation for tenants, for renters, is to make the rent the priority. Make the housing expense the priority. If uh, something has to give in other other areas, maybe uh, you know, talk with the car car loan, the bank with the car loan, see if they can defer payments. Uh, check with the credit card, see if they can defer payments. Um, but try to make that housing expense first because the if a tenant does not pay in full, then yes, the amount will they're not going to be evicted, but that balance is going to carry over. And if they do that for too long, unfortunately, they might be in a position where they may not be able to recover. And um, at some point, you know, even you kick the can down the road, at some point they're going to have this trailing balance, even though the, the law's, you know, telling the landlords you cannot evict this tenant who, uh, who has demonstrated that they're facing a financial hardship because of this uh, coronavirus thing, then they can't evict them. The landlord's not getting income, but at some point that tenant's just going to accumulate such of um, a larger debt that they might not be able to recover from, from it. And it's going to damage their credit, their chances of getting future, um, a future rental, getting a, a rent reference. And it's just, I, I see a big mess coming up in the next few months. So right now we're, we're into it for the next 60 days, which is April and May, but come June, um, we don't know. We're going to see how this plays out, but emphasize, make the housing expense, the priority and same goes for people with mortgages. Please try to make that the priority. See if, uh, where else you could, you know, come up with that extra cash, borrow money, cash advances, uh, financial support, etc. But um, don't want to, the landlord shouldn't be damaging their credit as well because it's going to make, make it tougher to refinance and get other financing down the road. Okay, I'm almost at seven minutes now, way longer than I expected, but a lot of important information that's going on. I'm Chris Sanchez. This is Sonoma Views. If you would like to receive future uh, updates when I post new videos, please click subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, as I'm continuing to grow this uh, channel, it's been a year now. So I hope you're finding benefit and value of it. Take care of yourself.